And what else could happen with two lines? Perpendicular. Well, perpendicular is still what? Still intersecting. It's just intersecting at a right angle. So perpendicular is true, but it's really still the same as if they were just crossing, okay, when it comes to how many solutions it'll have. Is there anything else two lines can do? Make two lines. How? Um, they can make a right angle. So the right angle is what we were just talking about. That's perpendicular. And it would look like this, though. It's just a special type that meets at a right angle. Watch this. Here's two lines. They have the same point. So you could have two lines that are exactly the same what? Line, okay? So you wanna put these three all in your notes. These are the three things that can happen with two lines when you graph them, okay? Now, let's talk about slopes. <coughs> Solutions. <coughs> And y intercepts. Okay? Alright. If they are parallel lines, what do you know about their slopes of the two lines? They have the same exact slope. Same exact slope. Very good, Gavin. So, yeah, the slopes will be equal to each other. If they're parallel, okay, if they, if they are that. So let's give an example. Let's say I had y equals 1 half x plus 3. And then I had uh, 3x plus, or minus, sorry, 6y equals 12. Okay? Now, let's say I had these two equations, and I asked you to graph them and tell me the solutions to these equations. Well, what was the, what was the, how would you graph the top equation? Let's do this one over to the side here. So you, how would I graph the top equation? Somebody besides Dan and answer me. Let's have Danny answer me. How would I graph that top equation, Dan? Okay, that's the... You have three. So yeah, I was going to say, that's the mistake most kids make, actually. Have three and three. So we have our x-axis, we have our y-axis. You actually want to start up three on the y. Never, when it's in slope-intercept form, if it's in slope-intercept form, never start... There we go. Why did you... Oh, I guess people couldn't hear, huh? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty loud. <laughs> You thought I was loud? No, she had it pretty loud. Oh. <laughs> Why did they not hear? I don't know. All right. Okay, so here's the y. So the y-intercept is where we start. That's the number part that's being added. It's not the fraction part. It's not in front of, the, of, this, of the x. Okay, Canyon, what's the slope that I'm going to follow if I start here at 3? Um, you can go. Can go up one and yep. over. Up one and over what? Over one. Oh, two. to three. Sorry, I'm bad. Two. Two. I'm bad. I just had rough day today. Up one yeah. over two. two. Can I keep going up one and over two? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make usually three points just to give me a good look at what it and you can go down does. I could go down one and over to the left one. Two. Oh, well. Two, and it should match right there. Okay? So that's my slope, that's how my line looks. We're good. How about this one right here? Is it ready to grab me? No. no, I have to get y by itself. So what's the first thing I would do, Trickless? Tristan? Um, I want to get the y by itself. Plus three. It's already being added. It's already a positive. Plus six. Y. <laughs> I want to get the y by itself. Leave the y alone. Yes. Uh, minus 3x. You're minus 3x. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Now, make sure when you put it on the other side, you put the x part first. Too many kids want to write 12 minus 3x. So I've got negative 6y equals, I want to write negative 3x first plus 12. Now what should I divide both sides by, Tristan? I gave you a huge hint this time. <laughs> divide each sides by uh, five. Three. Three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go ahead, Rachel. Negative six, negative six. Negative six, good. <laughs> now, here's the key, and this is where kids mess up, is they'll divide the first part, but they'll forget to divide the 12 or they won't divide the signs right on the 12. So let's divide everything by negative six. So negative three divided by negative six. Positive, positive three over six. Positive three over six would be right, but three over six reduces to? One half. A half. So I want to write a half. I knew that. X. Then what though? Divide. And then I got to take 12 divided by negative six. What's 12 divided by negative six? Negative two. Negative two. Negative. So where should I start on the graph now? Negative. Down two on the what? Negative. Two. On the y. Okay, I want to be on that y axis. I want to be at down two. Where should I go from there? Uh, Seth, where should I go from there? Uh, mm -hmm. Over one, down two, up two. I don't know. It's the rise over the run. It's the how far up or down you go is on top. And how far over or across you go two. is on bottom. So you go where, Seth? Down negative two. Seth, are you even <laughs> <laughs> What did I just say? <laughs> the top represents how far up or down you go. Yeah. The bottom represents how far across you go. Now, where should I go from this point? Up one. Up one. And what? Over two. Yeah. It's complicated. It's not. Uh, it's pretty complicated. Okay, what type of lines are these? <laughs> Parallel. They are. Did I know that even before I graphed them? Yeah, once I got them in the same form, Y intercept form, I noticed that the slopes are exactly what? The same. What are the solutions for this graph? Now, what is a solution? It's points they have in common. That's something you might want to write in your notes. Solutions to linear equations are the points they have in common. Let me say that again. Solutions to linear equations are the points they have in common. Is there any points in common to these two lines, to parallel lines? Do they have any points in common? No. There's no, no points in common. There's no point that touches this line and touches this line. Okay? They are parallel, so there's no points in common. So the solutions for parallel lines is no what? No solution. solution. Okay. So no solution happens only when you have what type of lines? <coughs> parallel. They're Linear, parallel. but they're parallel. That's oh. the key. So when they're parallel lines, we will have no solutions. Right. Tell me about the y-intercept. <coughs> are they the same or are they different, different. if they're parallel lines? Different. different. Okay. Different. The y-intercepts will be different. Okay. Let's move on to this next one. Okay. What do you know about the slopes over here if they are going to meet? Well, these two, one's negative, one's positive, because one's going up and one's going down, right? But in general, could I have two that were positive? In other words, could I have some that look like this? Yeah. 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 So it's not necessarily negative or positive, but what do we know about the slopes, though? Are they going to be the same? Yeah. <laughs> Never the same. Okay, so here, the slopes... Oh. <laughs> the slopes must be different. Okay. Uh, how about the solutions? Yeah. How many points do they have in common, the two lines? Wouldn't it be just one point? Just one point, exactly. So the solution will be a point. The solution is a point they cross. Man, you guys are smart. Okay. And then how about the y-intercept? 
not important. Because <laughs> okay? this could be different, it could be the same. Not important. It doesn't matter whether they're the same or different, in other words. Okay? All right, let me give you an example of this type. So let's say I had uh, y equals 2x minus 4, and then Uh, <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, it's a Tuesday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say these were the two equations, okay? How would I graph these two lines? Made in the first. Well, I want to start with the first one. How do I graph the first one? Is it ready to graph? Yeah. 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 Oakley, where would I start on the first one? Negative four. Thanks, Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Oakley, how's it going? Okay. Hey, you're looking good. Uh, all right. From there, Ryder, where would I go? <laughs> From negative four, where am I going to go? Up to. What's the number in front of the x? Three. Two. Yeah. So I'm going to go how far up? Yeah. Up two and over how many? One. Up two, over one. Because I could write that two as a fraction, two over one. Okay. So I'm going up two over one, up two over one. There's my line. <laughs> Okay. So fairly steep line. Okay. Where should I start the next one? Well, I don't know yet. I gotta solve it for what? You gotta solve it for y. So let's solve that one for y. So uh, Griffin, what should I do first to get the y by itself here? Divide. I mean, no. I want to get the y by itself. Do I minus four? No. What should I minus? Three. Three what? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Get the x part away from the y part. The y part needs to be by itself. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to subtract 3x both sides. 3x goes in front. Now I have this equaling 4y. Now what should I do? Divide, Divide by Four. what? 4. 4. Okay. Now this is a little tricky <laughs> because it's going to be, well, you'll see. Okay, where should I... What's it going to be when I divide by 4? Well, the first part is going to be negative 3 fourths x. But the next part is going to be negative 5 fourths. Where is negative 5 fourths? Okay. Where's negative 5 fourths? Right. 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and what? 1 and? 1 fourth. 1 fourth. So down 1 and a fourth. So just barely below the negative 1. From here, where should I go? Okay. From here, where should I go, Dakota? I'm down at one and a four. Where should I go from there? According to that. Down how many? <laughs> down what? Down three. down three and over what? <laughs> and you go down three, so you're still at the fourth part, and then you're over one, two, three, four. Okay, so these go here. Okay. Now if you notice, it's crossing right at that point. What was that point? How far up did I go on the first one? On the first graph, how far up did I go? Up two and over one. So what's this point right here? Always put the x part first. What's the point? X is over at what? One. And y is down at what? 2. So this is 1, negative 2. That's the point they cross. Now, let's say you weren't sure if that was the point they crossed. Because remember, we were with some fractions there. And we were like, ah, I think that's the point they crossed, but I'm not sure. How would I actually make sure that that point works? 
Yeah, just substitute it in, and it should work in both equations. So this is another part that we want to do. We want to write this in your notes. If the point, write this in your notes. If the point can be substituted in both equations and be true, it is a solution. If the point can be substituted in both equations and be true, it is a solution. Okay? So that's what we're going to do on this one. We're going to sub in 1 and negative what? 2. Now negative 2 is the what value? X or Y? Y. It's the Y. What's the 1? X or Y? X. X. So I'm going to start with this original equation. Plug in what for Y? Negative 2. Negative 2 equals <laughs> what for X? 1. 2 times 1 minus 4. Can you move up to Okay. Once I sub it in, I'm just going to see if it's true. Meaning if the left side equals the what? Right side. If it is, we're in good shape. So Dakota, what's 2 times 1? 2 minus 4 is? What's 2 minus 4? Negative. Negative 2, right? So negative 2 equals what? Negative 2. Is that true? Yes. yes. So that one worked out true. Well, but we need to plug it into the other equation and see if it works in that one too. It has to work in what? Both. Both. That's the key. Okay? So Sally, let's plug it in here. 3 times 1, that's the x, and then I'm going to have 4 times negative 2. What's 3 times 1? 3. 3. What's 4 times negative 2? 8. Close to 8. Negative, negative 8. 8. Yep. Negative 8 equals negative 5. Is that true? What's 3 minus 8? Negative 5. Negative 5, right? So that's going to be negative 5 equals negative 5. So is it true that my answer on this one then is 1, negative 2? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be my answer. That would be a linear or what? So this one is a, they are two, they're two lines, right? But these are intersecting, right? When they intersect, how many solutions? One. The solutions is one point that they cross, okay? The slopes could be different. Or, sorry, the slopes must be different. Are the slopes different? Yeah. Negative three fourths and two, yeah, those are different. Um, again, is it important whether they add the same y intercepts? Now, that's just a starting point for my graph. Okay? Everybody understand this, this type? This is the most important type. This is what usually happens when you have two lines. Okay? Let's try this one. Tell me about the slopes of these two lines. They're same. They have to be the same. Because really, you're ending up with the same what? Line. Same line. So, how about the solutions? Infinite. Yeah, the solutions are infinitely many. Or some people say that that is all real. Okay? So all real numbers or all real values. I can pick any x and I'll have y that matches anywhere along there, okay? And then uh, y-intercepts have to be what? Same. same. Exactly the same. Have to be the same. Okay, let's try one as an example. So let's say I had y equals negative one-third x plus four. And then I'm going to have uh, 2x plus 6y equals 24. All right. And so I want to graph these and see if they're the same or what or what's going on. Okay. Is the first one ready to graph? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally ready to graph. <clears throat> And where should I start, Seth? Oh, four. Good job. I 
Startup Fort Canyon, where should I go from there? Um, what, the down one? Good, down one and over how many? Three. To the right or left? Uh, left. Right. All no, right. always go, the bottom number, top number is down, uh -huh. bottom number is positive, so it needs to go to the left. Right. right. Okay, so I'm going to go down one and right three. Can I keep going down one and right three? Yep, I can keep doing that. So this one has a little gentle slope going slowly down. Okay, there we go. By the way, could I go up one and to the left three? Yes. Yeah, I could have done that. Go so up one and to the left three. Now I have some graph paper over here that we'll be using a little bit today as we do things. So, all right, now let me ask you this. What should I do with the second equation? Same thing. You get the y by itself. I gotta get the y by itself. So Nick, what should I do first to get the y by itself on the second equation? I want to get the y by itself on that equation. Minus what should I do first? Two x. Minus 2x. Very good. Now again, a lot of kids want to write 24 minus 2x over there. Always put the x part what? First. First. Okay, so write 6y equals, then put the negative 2x, then put the plus 24. Some kids want to add those together. Can I add these together? Yes. And write 22x? No, because the 24 doesn't have an x with it. You with me on that? If it doesn't have an x with it, you can't add something without an x to something with an x. It's like comparing apples to oranges, right? The x's are the apples and the ones without x's are oranges. You can't really put them, they're not the same. You can't add them together, okay? All right, now, what should I divide both sides by? Six. Six. What will that give me? Divide both things by six and reduce. What will it give me? One third, negative one third. Negative one third. Plus four. X plus four. What do you notice? Same, same. It's exactly the same. So if I was to graph it, I'd start at the same spot. I would graph the same slope. It would be the same one line. Now, what would I say about this then? What is the solution for this? All reals. All reals. So I'm going to put all reals. Now, here's what's interesting. Remember how we plugged in a point here and it worked in both? Yeah. I can pick any point and it should work on both. Name some points on here. What's this point? Three. Zero, four. Zero, four. Zero, four. Very good. That point is zero, four. Now remember, I went down one and over three. What's that point? Negative one and three. It's down one from four. Three. Three. three, three, and how far over it went? Yeah. I went down one and over three. It's what? Three, three. Three, three. Yeah, this one is three, three. Okay, and then I went down one and over three more. What's this point right here? Seven. Six. What's that point? Six, two. I went six, over three more. So if this was three, three, six, where am I at? Two. Six, yep, and I went down one, two. Everybody with me on those? Okay. I can pick any of those, and they should work in both equations, will they? Yes. I don't know. Let's see. Let's pick the 6, 2, just for funsies. So here we have 2 equals negative 1 third times 6 plus 4. Okay? 3 goes into 6 how many times? 2. Twice, right? So this is 3, and the 6 reduces to a 2. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 plus 4. What's negative 2 plus 4? 2. Two. Am I good? Yep, it worked. Well, if it worked in that one, will it work in this one? Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's the same equation, right? Once I got it simplified. So all you really need to do is simplify and you'll get it. I can plug in any of those points. They'll all work. They'll work in one, they'll work in both. So that's how those work. Yes? Yeah, the question is, how do you tell, and that's a very, very good question, actually. How do you tell the difference between this situation where it's the same line and one where it's parallel. Because they have the same slopes, right? Didn't these have the same slopes? Yep. Did these have the same slopes? Yep. What's the difference? Different y-intercepts. Yeah, the y-intercept is different. But how about here? They're the same. They're exactly the same. This part 
is really the difference between when they're parallel and when they're what? The same. So that was a good question. But exactly what? I forget her name. What's your name? Sydney. 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 Sorry, you came when I was leaving. So, so Sydney. Yeah, Sydney's got it exactly right. If the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different, then there is no solution. If the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are the same, then obviously you have the same what? Line. Line, and they are all real solutions. Any x value you pick on the line will give you the same y value on both lines, okay? All right, take your books out now, and then we'll do a few on your separate sheet of paper. So you're still gonna need your separate sheet of paper. Take your books out, we'll zip through the book, and then we'll do a couple on the other sheets of paper. You can just have a look. 